Hey, Mr. Femi Falana and Nigerian lawyer son and the rest of it. Here is an opportunity for you to talk about Nigerian youth who have been apprehended for protest about the answers of the things that happened October 20th, about four years ago, and the law enforcement is going on them hard. For those of you who are just coming across my video for the first time, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and welcome to the Man of Thought as we proceed into today's conversation on the Elsa's protesters who have been apprehended by the law enforcement. Three, two, one. There is the latest news that just came out, which is today, 20th of October, that actually marked the day in four years ago when Nigerian youth were protesting against police brutality that they call the NSAS government or the NSAS law enforcement who are not only brutalizing people but are ending the lives of the youth basically because any Nigerian youth who look fresh, any Nigerian youth who look glossy is actually assumed to be a criminal or is actually assumed to be um, a fraudster or whatever they decide to label the person and a lot of people lost their life during that particular period when the NSAS or the SARS things were going on. And Nigerian youth make decisions to put out their displeasure and in this particular statement and this particular protest it went almost worldwide and people showed their support after the destruction that came upon Nigerian youth. We observe that there were a lot of harming, shooting at Nigerian youth. And we ask ourselves a question, these are the people that are supposed to be protecting the Nigerian youth and are supposed to be protecting Nigeria themselves. And we ask ourselves, why are harming the military force going after Nigerian youth? In fact, too many people lost their life and the governor at that particular time showed up in lagos at the lekki toll gate and before we know we start seeing camera mm. everybody knew these things were dramatic nigerian at today decided to go and to give a remembrance to what happened during that time in fact one of the displeasure why they needed to go and talk about these issues and to protest and to show their memory on the brothers and sisters who lost their life during the protest ground was to first of all give a remembrance to them and second of all because they believe that there is no justice for these people. One question we can actually ask ourselves is did they hold those army? Yes, we remember that at some point they put some tables where we see a parliament where they were questioning the general at that particular point. And as we know, Nigerian did their magic and after that time we did not hear anything. The families of the people who actually lost their life, lost their brothers, lost their husband, lost their children, will be asking a question on their family, what is the justice? Our question at the moment should be, are the family being compensated? What did the government do about this? Because the Nigerian youth make a decision to show their displeasure of how the Nigerian government allows the law enforcement to take advantage and to start assaulting them. No compensation, rather, they continued on the same thing. I was surprised when I saw the news. I was surprised to see the fact that law enforcement begin to hold these people and put them inside a black maria. And the question is this, what is the reason behind it? Well. I went to Channels TV to make a little bit of, of um, investigation or to just make a little bit of research and I realized that even the police himself, who is one of maybe the commissioner who was having the conversation on this, could not even speak up right because he knew in a sense that he is doing what is wrong. He said something that the government does not want people to protest blah 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 because they don't want problem in Lagos and the rest of it. How come have we gotten to a point where when Nigerian youth make a decision to protest, instead of the law enforcement to be protecting the people, to be protecting the protesters and also protect the civilians and the other people who are deciding to go on their road, whereby the law enforcement are supposed to separate in between the protesters and make sure there is flow movement and why the people's voice is being heard. Rather, in Nigeria, it is a different one no protection every time there is protesters 
protesters have now represent criminals in Nigeria. There's the one that they are just persecuting the other day just because they put out some flag ignorantly and they say hey, for that it becomes a treason. If care is not taken, Allah Lomo Kotumashele. Nigerian police, I have nothing to say about them, but I only have a question to ask. Why do you resist Nigerians from protesting? Why would you say because of past experience, it simply means that we cannot grow through the past experience and do something better? What are you doing in your own part as a law enforcement to ensure that whenever there's protest in Nigeria, it's always going to be peaceful? Why have Nigerian law enforcement become an enemy to Nigerians when they make a decision to speak up on their voice? We never talk finish. Whenever we speak about anything, they call it defamation. And instead of the person to sue, Nigerian law enforcement have put it on their head and they make it a criminal charges. That is how they make a lot of money. Example, there's one that happened with Arcview Investment, a real estate investment, who also said, I defamed them for talking about my experience. And they went to Zone 2 at the AIG's office to come and arrest me the other time. And I stayed in jail for two months, 10 days. While we are in court now, they cannot even present themselves. So the question, there are a lot of questions that are raising and I'm asking myself, are Nigerian law enforcement actually thinking that these people they are actually going after are their family, children, friends and people like them? Share the salary don't block some people's head. Well, I don't know. For me, I assume all these things to be an animalistic government and uh, we are losing our senses and we are making Nigeria the most worst country on the surface of planet Earth. Maybe I wouldn't blame them so much. Maybe we have to look at the choices that we are also making as Nigerians. But here is the opportunity for those people who present themselves as human activists, for those who present themselves as lawyers, and those who present themselves as senior advocates of Nigeria. Uncle Femi Falana, how are you doing, sir? Because you have gone after VDM, blah, 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 and you are acting like Shino Rambo. Now there is an opportunity for you to start defending Nigerian youth. And I'm not talking just to Femi Falana. I'm talking about all human activists. Or Nigerian lawyers. Because to me, it is very surprising that almost Nigerian lawyers would not want to take a step to defend people until money is actually involved. Before we start putting on the blame on the Nigerian government. Why not put the blame on the Nigerian lawyers also or son and say that why are you people actually fighting for the people or you are only defending them whenever they, you are going to make money. For us to see a better Nigeria, for us to see a better justice system that most of you the lawyer and the justice system actually represent, you lawyers also have a work to do just as a Nigerian youth or Nigerian citizens, as we all have a responsibility to make this work. Are the Nigerian lawyers taking step at this moment to also protest opportunity for female Falanas and the other human rights activists to go and set these people free and speak on the parliament and on the senators and blah 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 to make sure that Nigerian youth or Nigerians who decide to protest are not going to be going to prison all basically because there's an allegation we have lost hope on the law enforcement most times because law enforcement the only thing they listen to now is go Baba Fela said something, he said, zombie, oh, zombie, tell him to go do na joro, ja, ra, joro. No break, no ja, no sense, na joro, ja, ra, joro. And then when it comes to the issue of bandits, they do not even have a way to ask questions and say, we have to go for this. And so, garbage in, garbage out. Our system is completely becoming failure. But here is it, I am calling on the human activists, such as Femi Falana. This is an opportunity for you to redeem whatever you have done. Or are some people thinking that they are going to lost as they've been losing in the past? Whatever your comments are, Nigerian youth, please, I would like to hear your comment in this video. Do you think I'm going too far, far right or far left? What do you think is the best thing we can do as Nigerians for us to have our voices? Both Nigerians in Nigeria and Nigerians in diaspora. Your comments are highly welcome. 
if you haven't subscribed make sure you do subscribe to the channel like and share and let's grow this channel so we can create also a voice for the people have a blessed day see you in my next video adios amigos bye bye for now when you are revolutionary and you talk the truth people will come and slap you down and then you talk the truth again they lock you in jail them never hear anything at all then go here Pansa, pansa. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. And then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. They never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa, pansa.